Hi guys and ladies. You know, I made a number of recipes over the past several months using bluegill. They're a great food source if you have access to a pond in North America. Well, it's time to restock our freezer and normally I use only a tiny rubber lure, but lots of folks have asked me about live bait. I'm not as familiar with live bait, but how hard can it be? Let me try using our old Zepco 33 with a broken drag, a small bobber, a split shot, and a number eight or 10 hook. And to it, I'm going to put uh, some mealworms on that I've bought at the country convenience store. I'm going to set the depth for four feet under. This ought to catch something. Let's see. Well, the fish are biting, there's no doubt about it, but we're close to shore and I think the fish tend to run a bit smaller. Now, out there is some deep water and I'd like to take the boat out and try for some bigger fish. Well, it isn't bad, and what I've done is I've uh, smashed the barb down so that if I do need to release the fish, it'll be uninjured. Uh, usually that helps a lot. Just one miniature fish after the other. Yeah, that's much better. Well, it's certainly no giant, but it's better than what we've been coming up with. That's edible. Oh, I had one the whole time. Okay, I've got to confess, this isn't working out. Look it, almost every time they're swallowing the bait, these poor little guys, and it's, they're really getting it deep. So um, I'm just not good with live bait fishing. Yeah, they'll catch fish, but they'll kill them badly too. And um, I don't have this technique down, I'm going, I'm going back to artificials. I can't help it. I'm addicted to these small little rubber baits, totally artificial and totally easy to use. 
And so I really have reservations about uh, live bait. I just never learned well how to use them. Let's see what I do with this guy. Not the biggest, but the little guys pay off. Those little rubber things pay off. See, in no time, I've got pretty decent fish. No, this is a good one. And look, no rebaiting, no uh, split shot, no bobber adjustment, no hook bent, no uh, swallowing of the hook. It's so simple. So when they're not big enough, you just unhook them and... <laughs> well, nothing to write home about, but not bad, you know. They're edible. They're getting better. You know, before with the bobber, I could never tell whether the fish was just nibbling on the edge of it or had the whole thing swallowed. And I, I lost some fish that way and it's ugly. It, they bleed and it's sad. But uh, now with this uh, braided line uh, and this little rubber thing, you feel every single little bite and they tend to feel uh, very distinctive and then you set the hook and of course the lure is in the lip so much easier see what I mean So if you're like me and you struggle with live bait and bobbers and all the complications that are involved, just tie on a little rubber lure and then you'll catch some bluegill, believe me, and you'll be able to restock your freezer. <laughs> I've got my work cut out for me. Thanks for watching.